Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're gonna do on this episode is share with you step-by-step step how you can provide or supply USDT and your meld banker NFT for a nice little yield boost. So a couple things to keep in mind is that we are going to be using the desktop app. So currently with Meld, their lending and borrowing is only available on mainnet um, for their desktop. So if you guys have not done so already, you guys can head over to my YouTube channel, which you're probably watching this on, and you guys can watch the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create or set up a new wallet. So I've got a few of these, one for the mobile app, but what you wanna do is set up a new account or import your seed phrase and just log into your Meld app. So make sure before we get started that you have that. Once you have that, then we're gonna go over all the steps. So a few of these steps, you guys probably already know how to do it. So skip to the parts that you need to. So let's dive right into it. So as you can see, we've got our supply and borrow. And in my opinion, it looks awesome. So I've already supplied roughly 373 USD worth. Um, so the yield is going to change. So it's not just going to be, you know, 20, 40, 50, 60%. It's going to fluctuate as more dollars get put in there. So I think it's going to get reduced quite a bit. So step number one, open up the app.meld.com. Okay, so once you're in there, um, what you're gonna do after that is connect your wallet. So step one, you want to go to app.meld.com, open it up, and then connect your wallets. So for me, I'm just gonna get my NAMI and MetaMask connected here. So get all your wallets connected. From there, I'll show you how to get everything on Meld. So keep that in mind. You need to have your, your Meld assets, whether it be your Meld tokens, Gmeld, um, and your NFT, in this case, the bank manager NFT, you want to get that on the Meld blockchain. So not only are you going to have smaller fees, but this will allow you to equip everything and get it synergized with supply and borrow. So step number three, if you have to, I want you to swap Meld on Cardano to Meld on Meld. So what you're going to do is go to MinSwap if you have to. And all you're going to do is swap some ADA for Meld. So as you can see in my wallet, I've currently got some Meld on Cardano. We have 17,180 tokens. So what we're going to do soon is convert that or bridge it over. So that's going to be one of the steps as well there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to get Gmeld. So to do that, you're going to unwrap Meld. We also have videos on the channel that will take you step by step specifically for all of these things. So um, I've already done this in the past. So check those out. I've built a library for you. Okay. So here we've got some different NFTs. Um, but what we're going to do is go back to our wallet. Okay. And the next step, of course, is to make sure that we have enough Gmeld. Okay. So go to wallet and go under meld and you want to make sure you have enough gmeld 150 tokens is more than enough um, gmeld is very cheap so you know you can almost look at it similar to something like solana or bnb i'd say it's even faster and cheaper so just a beautiful layer one blockchain so the goal is to get our assets on the meld blockchain so what you're going to do if you need gmeld is to click on meld and go over to unwrap so that's how you're going to do it. Okay. So you're just going to click on Gmeld and unwrap Meld, and that will provide you with some Gmeld. Very simple. All right. So step number five, we can now bridge our Meld Bank Manager NFT. So also referred to as the Banker NFT. These NFTs you can pick up on JPEG store on uh, the Cardano blockchain. And as you can see, there's a logo here that is for NAMI. So I've got my NAMI connected, but what you're gonna notice is that there's a Cardano logo. That's because the NFT is currently on the Cardano blockchain. So what we're gonna do 
is bridge it over. So with the Meld app, we can bridge our NFT from Cardano to Meld. So this is gonna cost ADA because it's currently on ADA, it will cost some ADA Lovelace gas fees. So we're gonna bridge it over, cost a fee. Um, I believe I have this NFT on my Trezor. So I'm gonna sign that transaction. If you guys just have a NAMI without a, a hardware wallet, that's more than fine. So now we are bridging our NFT. So we're gonna let that go in the background. Um, perhaps you already have it on Meld. That would be great, but for most of you, you most likely have to do this step. Step number six, we are now going to bridge our meld that is on Cardano to meld on meld. For those of you that do not have meld on meld, this is how you do it. I recommend that you have enough Gmeld to do this um, so that in the next steps, it will be easy um, to supply because you need Gmeld when you have your assets on meld, right? Very simple. So what we're gonna do here is go to our meld, which we have a significant balance, at least something that we can supply with. Instead of doing two bucks, I'd rather do, you know, at least a few hundred. So here we got 17,000 meld that is on Cardano. We're gonna hit the bridge logo and we're gonna bridge our meld that is on Cardano to meld on meld. So review. And again, because it's on ADA, we're gonna pay an ADA gas fee, okay? So this will change down the road. So once we have our meld on meld, we won't have to pay, you know, two or three ADA. It's now gonna cost a fraction of a dollar. All right, so now we've approved that transaction. We are gonna wait for our NFT and our tokens to bridge over. So we're very close here. So what we're gonna do is speed up the video. And here you can see that we've now bridged one NFT and that is our banker. So let's check it out and cross our fingers and there you go. We now have the meld logo that is represented on our NFT. We could always bridge it back, sell it on JPEG store later, whatever you guys want. So it's very intuitive. I like the way this is but hopefully you guys are understanding how this is working. So now we're gonna wait for our tokens and what we're gonna be able to do is go to our supply and borrow and we will be able to supply an additional amount of USDT once we convert some of our meld tokens to USDT. All we're gonna do now is wait for our meld to bridge over so that we can then swap some meld for some USDT. So now we have a few options. Uh, what we could do with this meld on meld is we could begin to stake it. So that would be a good option. Right now, there aren't a lot of stake pools other than the Azomi ISPO. Today, we are October 9th of 2024. Um, so what we're gonna do, of course, in this tutorial is swap. So step number seven, let's connect our wallet to Azomi. Okay, so Azomi is the meld decks, and all we're gonna do is go to azomi.com forward slash swap. What we're gonna do now is go to Wallet Connect, and we're going to connect our wallet. We're gonna copy the address and paste it under the Wallet Connect on our meld app. So now our wallet on meld is communicating to Azomi. So if we take a look at our wallet, we can now see some Gmail, our meld, so this is perfect. And what we're gonna do is select meld, and then we will also select USDT. You could also do USDC. Um, you could do a different asset. For this tutorial, I just wanna do USDT. I just found that it's worked well, and the fees are pretty good. So as you can see here, $226 USD worth of meld. We're gonna get back roughly 223 to 224 USDT. So now we are going to confirm swap. I recommend for this swap to adjust your slippage to either auto or to make sure you're at 0.50%. So now we're gonna confirm under our meld app. So confirm and sign. And once that's complete, we will now see our USDT in our meld wallet. So there we go, we have roughly $224 worth. And now because we have both USDT on meld along with our bank manager, 
we can now supply both of these. So not only a fungible asset in USDT, but also our non-fungible asset with a specific asset ID number, we can now supply both of those. All right, so step number eight, our final step is to supply both our USDT along with our Mel Banker NFT. So we're gonna go under USDT on the left, and then we are going to supply our max amount. Feel free to supply what you want. And now we also have this add button for our Meld Banker NFT. This is awesome. So if we click on that, we will get a little boost. And I think this is fantastic. So we can see we have our Meld Banker um, NFT. It's number 25804. I like this one a lot. So it's gonna offer us a 1.07x boost. So now we're going to supply, confirm, and there we go. We have now supplied some USDT along with our banker NFT, and I think it looks awesome there. Um, currently, we haven't earned anything yet, but we can see the bonus amount. And guys, comment down below. Have you done this? Are you impressed? Were you even aware of this? Um, I was just playing around with the app last night, and I was like, man, this would be a great tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this. Guys, take your time, watch the other videos that I have right here on the channel. And of course, head over to the link tree. You can check out the node sale. You could also pick up a Tangium wallet or a Tangium ring. Use code Moose, save 10% off. We also have online courses and much more content coming in the next couple weeks. So with that being said, the Moose is loose and we'll see you in the next one.